Tesla update here on the 21st. So we're getting that move that I've been talking about for a while. Um, we are currently in wave three of wave three, in my opinion. So um, I originally said this could be ABC. The only chance that the shorts have right here would be an expanded flat at this point. It would have to be like this. Which is not likely. Expanded flat C wave down here. And then if, even if that happened, that would be, still be a wave two. That'd be wave two over here instead of right here. So based on the timing of this, I would say we are in more than likely a wave three. So if this is wave one right here, this is wave two. We're clearly breaking out for wave three. We broke across the parallel line. I'm looking for the 1.61 fib, which is at 184.84. So I want to see it hit 184.84, and if it does that, that should actually invalidate. Um, no, it won't invalidate it. It'll be about right for the 1.61 fib. I want to see it hit 184.184, or 184.84, and then pull back and another move higher up here to 187. That could be a C wave, though. But I think that that's unlikely again because you got to look at the timing of this. Two days, two days. This would take like six days. Doesn't make sense for the timing. So in my opinion, if we hit 187, that's a wave three. And if that's a wave three, then I'd be looking for a little pullback. And at any point in time, like I've been saying in the last four or five videos on Tesla, at any point in time, you can get news. And any of these waves can turn into a huge wave. And when that happens, we're probably going all the way up here to 230. So again, this retrace to the 0.5 fib right here, basically. So I don't think we're probably going to come down here and make a new low. So the shorts are hoping. Put all these pieces together, and we're probably in the third wave or the C wave higher, which is going to take us to a minimum of... 239 so we are almost there in my opinion unless this ends up being a uh, C wave and if that happens then you're just looking at probably something down here to 159 but that doesn't make any sense so again I would say we're probably in the third wave or the C wave and I'm expecting 239 minimum at any time, this can squeeze. So we're at 182. That's really only about a that's about a 30% move from here to get up to 238. So um, maybe we make a third wave, fourth wave, and then we get up here for a fifth wave around 190, and then we consolidate a little bit more, or we squeeze at any time. Uh, any of those moves, like I've been saying. So again, very very bullish. Um, I haven't had my shorts, haven't had any hedges on at all because we're above the 20 and the 50. Also, the 20 just crossed the 50 the other day. Another bullish momentum indicator there. You have the 20 crossing the 50. And so the only thing we're looking at um, left is the 200 here at um, 214. So I think that that would probably get broken here on the next move higher so tesla's ready to go in my opinion unless we get an invalidation if it doesn't hit 184.84 today and somehow falls back down invalidation is 179.65 so anyway that is going to do it for this video i just want to do a tesla update and uh, i'll probably do a market update later today um, the flow on tesla is all calls pretty much too. People are buying calls in bunches. Like those could be cover calls, but the way the stock's moving and where it's at, these are probably, you can see it's a top bullish flow as well. Anyway, that's it for me. I will uh, catch you here later in the day.